Sounds great, man. They fight the flat earth. What's a straight Hello. line? What is a straight line? Yes. Um, a, a straight line is a line with no perceptible curvature. Not all lines are straight, though. Not all lines are straight. Can you please elaborate? No. Draw a line on a ball. Is that line straight? So you're saying a, a straight line could be both straight and curved? If you if you get a ball and you draw a line directly from the top, what we would say the the you know the, the north all the way to the south, is that a straight line or is it a curved line? You tell me. Well, it's a line that would appear to be straight from one position, but would appear to be curved from another position. It's called non-Euclidean so geometry. So it's not, so it's not straight. It, it, oh, sorry, I thought you were finished. So, so are you um, saying it's straight or it just appears to be straight? It depends. Are you putting on a planar surface? Are you putting on a spherical surface? Because then they require two different types of geometry to determine and describe. Well, in fact, so, 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 are you saying that a straight I've line can be both a straight here. line and a curved so, line? Um, this book would be very interesting for you, um, part of the National Geographic Master uh, um, uh, series, when straight lines become curves, non-Euclidean geometry. Uh, it's, it's our oh, math, oh, when, our math, math when does that happen? Uh, in non-Euclidean geometry. Would you and say that, that a straight line is, is, by definition, the shortest distance between two points on a surface? Thank you, sir. On That's a, no, a non-spherical surface, yes. No, no, on any surface. Well, yeah, on any, uh, no, on you're, any you're, reasonably you're, you're right. regular you're, you're surface. Right. Yeah, uh, that, you know, if you're describing a straight line in non-Euclidean geometry, not, but, yeah, yeah, in general. Yeah, yeah, uh, I think if you're describing a straight line in non-Euclidean geometry, then it can obviously be on a curved surface, but, you know, it, it depends. If you want to talk about straight Euclidean geometry, then there is no kind of curved surfaces that you can reference that to. But, you know, the question, what is a straight line, depends on the branch of mathematics that you want to describe it in. It, it, Are you familiar that, with the term dialetheism? Fight the flatter? Dialetheism? Dialetheism, oh, correct. Dialetheism. You've been throwing this term no, around I'm, for the past few days. No, I'm not uh, familiar with dialetheism. Okay, I'll give you a small breakdown. It means believing in two truths. Just like you're trying to do now, you you're saying that a line could be both straight and curved at the same time. Yeah. I, I see. Uh, uh, yeah, that, that's just mathematical descriptions. Non-Euclidean geometry is is a thing that exists. Non-Euclidean geometry is a branch of mathematics that describes things in a spherical nature. So, you know, there's it, 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 no two truths about it. It's just how you want to describe it. It's the same when you're talking about gravity, do you want to describe it in a Newtonian sense or do you want to describe it in an Einsteinian sense? It doesn't change what it actually is and it's not believing two separate things. Well, no, you oh, just so said it. You are, you are a prime cam candidate of dialetheism. You just said that a, a straight line could be both straight and curved. Yeah, See, yeah I, I can, I can do the same thing to you very quickly, which is very, very simple. So can you show me a straight line in concrete reality. Why are you cutting in on uh, on this? Uh, why are you white knighting? Because, this, the, because let you're, him, you're let suffering, from, his own thing. You're suffering uh, from the same foolish. problem. And I just wanted to ask you that question. You don't have to answer it. You can say, I don't want to answer it. That's fine. I'm going to force you. Oh, I want to go back saying, to can the you show me, with... Can you show me a an actual real straight line in reality, something physical? I, maybe after, but first I want to continue the conversation <laughs> with Fight the Flat Earth, if you don't mind. Okay. So Fight the Flat Earth, you're sticking to your guns yes. that a straight line could be both straight and curved at the same time. Depends if you want to describe it in Euclidean geometry or non-Euclidean geometry. How about reality? How about in reality? Yeah, uh, reality includes both Euclidean and non-Euclidean geometry, so... And what is this? What you're trying to what you're, what you're trying to do is what what you're trying to do is f force a false dichotomy, because the answer doesn't have one question. And did you just ask me what is non-Euclidean geometry? Sure did. Yes. Is that a real question? 
Apparently, he doesn't believe in non-Euclidean geometry. Oh, just that. I didn't say I don't believe. Don't put words in my mouth, people. Why I'm just asking you. I'm curious. Why what is non-Euclidean geometry? It's a branch of mathematics that allows you to describe spherical things. Does it have, like, axioms and uh, laws and stuff yeah, like that? Yeah, it, 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 it uses its own axioms, yes. It, it, ignore, it pretty much ignores um, the, the fourth postulate of Euclidean geometry. Because course, it's spherical. Are you sure you got that right? That. Maybe, uh, do you mean another number? You sure you got that right? Uh, well, I'm just quoting Bev at this point, to be honest. Yeah, I think you're off by uh, one number. Maybe, uh, possibly. But uh, again, you know, saying that it makes me believe in two different things is just false. You know, a straight line can be curved if you describe it in non Euclidean geometry. No, Simple. you're saying that straight is That's curved. That's the answer to straight your question. Straight is not curved. Straight, you uh, can have a in, in non Euclidean geometry, circle. you can have a straight line that's curved. You yeah, can have but a straight line on a curve. geometry, like go ahead and play your little games. What is that called? Like, uh, where you build with your little blocks. I don't even know the you, name of it because it's so lame. You can have uh, a straight wait, spher line spherical geometry thing. is a thing, non Euclidean yes, geometry is a, is a thing. thing. I'm not, I'm not playing any games, that are they like exist. In computers and things like that. Like, it's not how we actually, no, no, it's in real life. Non Euclidean geometry is in reality. Yeah, it's it, literally it, used in reality used, all the time. It's used in architecture a lot, Shines. And the same way as a straight line is only something describing traveling across a surface in two dimensions. Okay. And whenever so you, uh, yeah, so yeah. That, that's the thing. That's the whole point of having a surface. A surface is only two dimensional. So a straight line is traveling in two dimensions. And when you're invoking the curvy bit, you're then invoking the third dimension, which means that no, it's a bit silly. No, you're acting like we aren't in three dimensions as it is. We are in three no, dimensions. But when we're yeah. talking about the surface is, and Euclidean geometry, three Euclidean geometry deals with planus of flat surfaces, planar surfaces, everything that's there. That's why you have regular shapes yeah, and this is the in problem, Euclidean is geometry and non-regular shapes or non-developable shapes. No, we, we don't think there's no 2D. Uh, yeah, and so to de to describe a sphere, you cannot use Euclidean geometry. You yeah. need to use non-Euclidean geometry. You can do it in sections. There's some real things that exist. Yeah, which is why you have to do sections if you want to do yeah. do any sort of explanation in Euclidean geometry, because you, you can't take the whole object as a whole. You have to fudge it. Fudge it? Ah, that's the trick word, huh? Eh? Yeah. You have to fudge no, it's it not a trick bit. word. It, it's, it's reality. It's why we come up with an estimate when, when we're using Euclidean geometry, and that's why hyperbolic and the other one, which I can't remember the name of, um, so whether it's a positive or negative curve, um, comes into play in, in non-Euclidean geometry. So this yeah, is the thing. We've got of what Euclidean, we're talking about. Euclidean a line only operates in two dimensions. Geometry. It's called yeah, solid it geometry. geometry on uh, the so, surface of a sphere. Yeah, be, being able to describe things in Euclidean and non-Euclidean geometry never changes the argument. And you know, trying to have word games about oh, how is a flat line, how is a straight line curved, doesn't change the fact that we can describe describe a straight line that is curved. That is a thing that exists in reality, not just in computers, not just in maths. It's a thing that exists in reality. Well, yeah, where does it exist in reality? Where, show me a show me a straight line that's curved in reality. Fight the flat Earth, please. Draw a line. Like get a basketball. And it has those lines on it. Those lines are straight and they're curved at the same time. <laughs> Surely you jest. The shortest no. distance between two points on, on, a serve, on a regular surface is a straight line. Do you agree yeah. with his statement, Foolish, what Fight the Flat Earth just said? Do you yeah, agree with that statement? What I've just done is I've just backed it up with my explanation that a straight line is the shortest distance between two points. That's what Euclid tells us. Yeah, and, yeah, and but... we're... Doesn't he? That's what you. That's 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 Euclid's postulate number two or three. I can't remember which one. I'm not Bev. Um, but you know that is Euclid's definition of a straight line: the shortest the distance between two points. Right. And that applies on a planar surface that. or a spherical yeah. surface. <laughs> yeah, but it doesn't change the fact that that line on a spherical surface is not straight. No, it is straight. Yes, it, is. it is straight it's because it's straight it in two dimensions. It depends. It depends on what perspective. If you're looking at the sphere from outside as an outside observer, then no, it's not straight. But if you are on the surface of that sphere looking at that line, then yeah, it's straight. So it's viewer dependent. Perception you doesn't make it viewer reality. dependent. Uh, es essentially, yeah, as what it appears to be, at least. 
So don't you see that's Dialepheism right there? It's not depending on the observer. You're just it's just your misunderstanding, Jesse. That's all it is. No, I, you I, can't I, I, two I think this is just getting into into the weeds of a semantic argument, and we've been having some yeah. quite sort of content rich argument at the moment. And I think we should keep to the content and not go into the semantics. Is that not fair? You can go in whatever direction you want. I'm just stating what I'm I think. Uh, if you think I'm overdoing it, I'll back off. That'd be cool. You're, you're simply wrong about it being uh, dialetheism. It's not. What you're doing is presenting a false dichotomy. Well, I mean, think Absolutely of it this way. Absolutely not. It's a classic case of dialetheism. You, no. sir, fight the flat earth, believe really that not. No. a line could be both straight and curved. Hold That's on. a classical think, think case. It, think of it this way. Think of it this way. Yeah. Imagine you have a ball in front of you. A, 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 however you want to semantically debate it, but a perfectly spherical ball. Draw a line, a perfect line around the equator of that ball. If you look at that ball from above, like straight above the equator, straight down on the line, it will appear straight. It will appear straight. But if you look at that line from any other angle, pretty much any other angle, it will not appear straight. How it appears is not what makes it. Exactly. Yeah, yeah, I, I think that's cool. a good it's just, analogy. If it's a give straight me, line by one. definition and it's the shortest distance between two points, it would not go around the surface. It would go through the surface right, from point exactly. to point. Yeah, because yeah. a line has to go on the surface. No, that's a chord. Yeah. 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 I think that's a bad yeah, analogy. That's a chord, not, not a line. It's not the best it's, analogy, but it so, so what gets is a geodesic? part of the point across. What is a geodesic? Uh, a geodesic yeah. is a curved not path you, on not you, FTFE, uh, a 2D the, surface. Not you, FTFE. No, go ahead. FTFE. What, what, a, a a a you can answer it. I mean, don't what, let people tell you what to do. Go ahead. If you got the best answer, answer. We're just here to learn. Yeah, I, We're not here sure for B-Ball to get got you. What a geodesic is, I want you guys to answer it. Right. A so geodesic is the, the shortest distance between two points answer. on the surface of the sphere. Yeah. Yes. So geodesics don't exist? No, they do. It's the short. That's what I just told you. Is a line around, like the that line around the equator is the shortest distance between the South Pole and the North Pole. Well, you know, yes. The, essentially, the south, the the two sides of the sphere. That's the geodesic. Yes, I agree. I'm, okay. Apparently, I don't think we need key music to this. Yeah, it's, yeah, that's it's kind really of hard obnoxious. to hear what's going on with that music. Yeah. Thank is you. There, was there like some reason you were asking that, or because that's a, that's a straight line, isn't is it not? It's a straight line on the surface. Yeah, I, I, I think there's a, a confusion on like if, it's, if a line is straight depending on the observer, and if a line is straight depending on the geometry. If you're trying to describe, that. if if you're trying to describe, okay. <laughs> How does any of this? Prove or disprove the, the the Earth being flat or, or or a globe. Yeah, I agree. Discussing the nature of what is a flat line, it doesn't change what we can actually demonstrate to be a fact. I agree. Um, and the fact is, the fact is, guys, that it's very very easy to demonstrate that the Earth is not only spherical but rotating with simply a pendulum. That's all you need. Yeah. Can I ask you something about uh, the pictures that are being posted from like altitude, like from planes? Um, a guy named Doofus told me last night that over a flat plane, even at altitude from an airplane, the horizon would appear curved. Do you do you um, do you think that's no. true? Also? No. Yeah, and the reason he gave me, which I'd heard some people say this before is because we see in a circle basically so when you're seeing uh straight out away from you to one distance and then you you your gaze and you know your your view is left and right also but those distances are different it would appear slightly curved now the picture that he posted as earth curve proof he said over a flat plane would still appear curved but just not as much and you would see further so you disagree with that I know is it's this something that he actually said, I, or are you trying to take what he said out of context? I have because you do that. You do that pretty often. I only loosely why are you understand the point. Uh, yeah, I'd I, ask Flight to Flat Earth, but if anybody wants to answer, that's fine. That's exactly what he said. I was even like, I couldn't believe he said it. What? But, so hold on, hold on. Yeah, no. I, I, so he's saying <laughs> that 
that we see is so is he essentially claiming that like the human eye just has a tendency to make things appear curved? No, he said the way we're we're seeing out at distance that we're seeing different distances in a circle. So when you look out, you're seeing you know the horizon kind of curve around you. I've heard it explained like a hula hoop. Now he didn't say that. But that's kind of what he was implying. Uh, well, we see in a cone. Oh, yeah, you are correct, Rakia, and I'm working on something. I am going to wait until uh, Armageddon we... gets around, and we're going to showcase this because it is absolutely mind-blowing. See, Blender, you can actually use a fisheye lens or what it would kind of look like, right? And it actually, when you got further away yeah. from the uh, Mercator <laughs> map, it actually turned into a sphere. It was really strange, and he moved across it too. Fish it looked like lenses would do that, yeah. Yeah, it you can, was you can do a lot of cool stuff with fisheye lenses. <laughs> I put, so I put posted even a picture. Even without the fisheye, right. even without the fisheye, you still get the curvature. Yeah, I posted the picture, and that's what he was saying. Without well, if you the fisheye, look at the Mercator map, there's curvature, anyways. So I don't. If I, don't I if I can just what? wrap this up, the, the Mercator projection has yeah, curves yeah. on it. I I don't know what what. You mean like the edges? Let's wrap this up and then I, I'd, like, I'd like to ask some specific questions yeah. of, of the panel. Fight the flatter. If, if you could look at the, that's the picture that he posted. Oh, I'm sorry. I, I was I'm thinking of the wrong projection. My bad. Uh, sorry, is that your is Life posting that, that project Rakia thing? Rakia Life. Um, no, I think it's the one that Don posted earlier. I'm not sure which one. Where, where I would repost it. There's been way too many things in chat. Repost it. Yeah, just to what I said about oh. Mercator, I was thinking of a different projection. My bad. Can y'all hear me about the so, uh, plane? Yeah, I can hear you, but I was saying like you should repost it because I don't know where you're Repost what you're talking part. about. Repost what you're talking about, Rakia. Okay, it's right under Earth is Life's posting, and it's an uh, airplane wing. Oh, you're what posting is, in that stuff, TV Live. Uh, we're all in general chat. Okay, sorry about that. I mean, right, yeah, I was so, so that, confused. Sorry yeah, sorry about that. I'll post it real quick. That's this my bad, guys. picture that he posted. I think he, he took it. <clears throat> well, let me see. Let me see. see. What I'm look at that. Look at that. It looks like a hula hoop. A circle. Uh, what he did with like... this picture, he took, he took a picture... With the horizon at different points of the lens. That's fantastic. Now, even was, August, was, August Picard even said the Earth looked like as a disc with upturned edges. We yeah, do. But then we, 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 so if that's the case, we'd be seeing all the way to Antarctica. Incorrect. So Incorrect. Like can only the inverse square law has it. Like can only go so far. Uh, can I ask a question about the picture of a life? Uh, yeah, there? please. Yeah. If I could finish um, up with flight uh, to Earth, and then I'll, I'll just go mute after that. So, uh, Gear Life, what what um what altitude and what camera was used and what lens for that picture? Um, he 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 sorry uh, sorry you 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 broke up there, dude. I did not catch your answer. My my apologies. Could you say that again? No, no problem. Uh, this was a guy named Doofus that took the picture. And he was used as you know, um, Earth curve like the horizon curve. And can you hear me now? Yeah, yeah, but yeah. Uh, the, the the picture that you've shown with, with the airplane wing that says Howdy on, is that what we're talking about, yeah? Yes. Right, Um. so what, what altitude was this taken? Uh, what camera was this taken with? That That's what I would like to know. He didn't tell us the camera. He just said it was non-fisheye, and he took three different pictures, which he posted all three, and they all look pretty similar. I mean, you know, but my point was he said over a flat plane, you would still get this effect of curved horizon. It just wouldn't be as much, like it wouldn't be as significant, and you would see further. Was his explanation kind of like? Well, you would definitely see further. Yes. Well, you, you that would, would depend most definitely see, see further. Yeah. Um, you know, but it's very hard for me to comment on this photo at all without knowing the specifics of the camera. We're yeah. talking about Mr. Sensible one. Uh, you know, I've been shown the the specifics of the camera and stuff. You know, I. Well, I'm not you really know, it's very hard for me to comment and but I'm not you know, saying it's... it was the camera that created this. I'm saying he he brought up the point that whether you're on a, a sphere or a flat plane, this effect would happen at altitude looking over towards you know distance to the horizon. Do you agree with that? No. Okay. So, that was my question. Can I say something? Can I say something? 
Yeah. Who's so this? basically what he's trying to do is he's trying to get you to disagree with the image so that he can go back and tell Doofus that he was wrong. Yeah, I don't and know why Earth is like always wants to say what that's people what you do, are doing. Man. That's what you do. I, yeah, no, that's not what I'm doing. Um, you can trust Earth is life if you want. I'm, I was surprised that he said it is why I'm asking another significant person that has knowledge about these things like Flat to Flat Earth. That's why I didn't ask you, B-Ball. Uh, yeah, let, let's let's not poison the well. Can we keep right. it on topic and not on the person? Yeah, I have a question. I appreciate it, like but Earth. let's keep it on point. I don't know. Okay, if, uh, if, if, if I take Earth one more like... question and then I can ask a question, if that's if that's okay. Yeah, sure. Can I ask you a question? Fight the flat Earth. Yeah, who's this? Who am I talking to? This is SE Montreal. Hello, SE Montreal. How are you? Very good, sir. How are you? I'm not doing bad, living life to the max. Uh, what's your question? My question is this. I once heard you say that level is not horizontal. Do you still cling to that belief? Uh, one person's horizontal is not another person's horizontal. That, that's my answer to that question. That's kind of vague. If you mean is not level really. flat, then no. Le level on Earth is conforming to the curvature of the liquid parts of Earth's surface. Horizontal would form a tangent at any point on that. So level and horizontal, when talking about Earth, do not mean the same thing. One person's horizontal on Earth is not another person's horizontal on Earth. So is a tangent a straight line? A tangent is a straight line, yes. And is a tangent and that horizontal? Tangent would that tangent would not be level. How about horizontal? Is a tangent horizontal? Depends on perspective. Uh, a tangent can be horizontal depending on the position the tangent has come from. Um, but you know, not, not always, no. A tangent is just something that touches the surface of a sphere at some point. Such well, as any, the surface of a circle, any, rather. Any curve, yeah. actually. And, any, any curve, really. I mean, you can have one curve that's also a tangent to another curve. But no, level is not horizontal on Earth. They do not mean the same thing. Uh, level is conforming to the curvature of Earth's surface, and horizontal does not match that um, description. Okay, can you show me an example of this on Earth, where level is not horizontal? Uh, yeah, plum bobs diverge. Plum bobs diverge? Bullshit. Yes. No, they absolutely 100% do. This was proven by yeah, no, Jesse never Kozowski. Did. Never have. Um, so this was proven by Jesse Kozowski when he measured yeah, curvature over bullshit. the surface of a lake 1.38 meters, 1.38 miles across um, with you know, equipment set up each side, which would have yeah, plum bobs in to determine what again. was level. So uh, you know, plum bobs absolutely 100% diverge away from each other on Earth. And no, they don't. And we went over this before, and I showed you that they do 100%. Was bad, and the level was off, and it was wrong. So we went and over no, you didn't. talking about a uh, horizontal a real, now, right? Memory, bro. Real short. We're talking... yeah, I have no idea who you are, uh, and that never happened. Can you show us evidence that they don't? Yeah. Plum bobs diverge on Earth. No, they this do is, not. This is a known I fact. Yes, they 100% do. do. They 100% do. Where Whoever is the guy talking it. in the background, can you show us evidence that they don't diverge? I'll that leave the hard. video again, and I'll point it out how your you, bullshit you have a positive crap. claim. You have a positive claim to show where they do. Yeah, the uh, Jesse Pozolski measured the curvature. Again, my, and my evidence is Jesse right, Pozolski's... Uh, again, Jesse Kozolski has an entire website um, showing him measuring the curvature over okay, the surface it. of the Earth. How uh, you spell um, I usually find him through Twitter because I can never spell his name. Well, I'll, I'll see if I can post it. Yeah, I, I, I don't know how to spell it. The Rakia Bridge, Lake Pontchartrain Chain Bridge. No, the one I really like is the one that the main surveyor did in uh, on modern day debates on. with. Um, yeah, uh, I think um, right the handle with sick. I can't remember who was 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 um, he was debating with, but he didn't just actually show um, what he did. He actually went through his complete methodology, the tolerance of the images involved. Um, standard deviation from the norm and explained Let's all the way through it. that as Let's well. Let's see the fucking proof. Um, okay, I can so go and get here, the video for you. I've shown it to you before. 
here is the website with the proof, jessikwazowski.wordpress.com forward slash 2020 forward slash four. And where in the website is... Uh, I am giving you the evidence. If you be quiet oh, no, and listen, I will explain to you where you can find you it. You jackass, I am giving you the evidence. I am that? not here to spoon FDMP. feed it to you. Uh, well, all right, no, all right. We're not waiting for it long enough. No need to get your panties in a bunch. No worries. No need. I was just responding to him. Thank you, sir. Fantastic. And I will finish presenting my evidence. What you Wonderful. should do. So when if you go to, I am talking now. Thank you very much. I am talking right now. Thank you very much. Link would be great. If you go to. I am talking right now. Thank you very much. I am talking right now. Thank you very much. You've had so many things said at you today. All right, 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 all right. I'm jumping in. I'm jumping in. 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 Guys, 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 guys. Let's let's relax. Let's chill out. Let's take take a breather. Take a take a step back. I got fresh man. I'm talking. So let's take a breather. Take a step back, and then we go back at it again. Everybody clear? You good? Everybody good to go? Let me know. Yeah, cool. All right. Link would be great. So go ahead and unmute Fight the Flat Earth. Let people finish what they're saying, and then maybe they won't. Okay, so I am now going to finish what I'm saying without being interrupted. That would be fantastic. So if you go to jessikwazowski.wordpress.com forward slash 2020 forward slash 04 forward slash 04 forward slash the Earth's curvature plainly visible, there is many examples of the curvature of the Earth being measured over short distances. My favorite one is when we go down to the bottom and he shows his evidence of using surveying equipment with levels and everything in it, which Tell would be why Plumbob would show what is level. So uh, yeah, if you would stop interrupting what I'm talking, that would be fantastic. Good boy. Um, so oh, if we good go down, boy. Being so condescending. Yeah. If, if you want, yeah. if you want to keep your mouth shut while I'm talking. Yeah, it's the oh, attitude. Is this how your your server is done, really? No, yeah, everybody. Hey, listen, I, I, listen, I have I, moderators here for a reason, so I can step. Listen, I'm speaking. Okay, hold on, hold on. I'm speaking. I have moderators here for a reason, so if I step away, they can handle it. Okay, I'm not always around. So guys, try to keep this. Don? We need you here. Try yeah. to keep this. Yeah, let's man. try to keep it concise. Everybody, just calm down. We were smooth for like what, almost twenty minutes straight. Yeah. And so then let's try FDMP to keep it cool. Decided to get, go crazy because we asked him for a specific. Uh, link. He sent us an entire me. website. I'm not one going crazy. Yeah, Every awesome time I speak, fine. you guys interrupt. Okay, okay. He's right. trying to present his evidence and everyone's talking over him. Okay, yeah, let's not talk why you over guys him. Are, I don't know why you guys are having a double standard of moderation. You mute us when we try to talk, but then when people talk over us while we're presenting evidence, you don't do anything. Okay, okay. Can hang on, hang on Harp. Can... Let him finish. Harp. Steve, Steve Come on, let's not do this, guys. Let's not be biased. Hey, we're not biased here, man. Hey, we're going to give the chance for every individual to use their mic. Let's not do this here, man. Done. Let's not do this here. It's not done. happening here. Harp, I'm Only speaking, Harp. Video. Harp, I'm speaking. Can We're I, not doing I this here. Can what I've been trying to say yes, now go ahead. Can five you... minutes without being interrupted? That yes, fantastic. can you go Thank ahead you. and can you do it concisely and, uh, and straightforward? Go ahead. I'm, I'm trying to, but every every time I talk, some dumbass interrupts me. So yeah, I, but you know, you're being oh, honest, oh, being an hey. amusing boy. Right, I can be as condescending as I fucking want when I keep getting interrupted by morons. Thank no you. No one wants to listen to you. Guys, yeah. 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 guys yeah. Or, okay, okay, okay. I'm going to mute everybody. Knock it off right now. Mm. We're a grown here. Let's have a grown man outside. conversation. Yeah, well, let's leave out okay. the morons and boys and all that. Yeah, leave that all out, man. Uh, Stop with the ad homs and the logical fallacies. I, I will do as long as I am not interrupted every time I talk. That would right. be fantastic. Now go ahead, finish. Lovely. So, if you go to this website, like I was saying, and go down to my favorite one, observations made using the water surface of Cooper River Lake as the level reference, which is a lake which uh, across the point you went 1.38 miles, used this indentation, which was level on either side, and it showed that the levels, the, the horizontals from the levels actually diverged. And if each uh, field light, which he's got either side of this lake, is exactly, it would have a plumb bob going straight down. That means that these plumb bobs would be diverging because the levels do not match. The horizontals do not match. The level is actually curved. When you point one field light at the other, it is above the point. Both field lights are set up exactly 100% straight as a plumb bob would point down. This 
observation done by Jesse, Jesse Kwasolski, an actual observation by an actual surveyor using actual surveying equipment, 100% proves that plumb bobs on Earth will diverge. Oh, okay, you got that out. Could I, could I now say what I wanted to say from the very beginning? You sent us that Well, there was link. someone else that was talking about Where this. Where in the link do you want us to see? You sent us his entire WordPress. Can you give us the I, specific I just link? told you this. Don't tell I me. Just told, Click on the one that you I wanted to told, see. I just you told you. You talked so fast, I couldn't even hear you. Oh, my God. I do. Oh, my God. I told click you. On that. It, oh, my click God. Let me respond. I told you, if you go to number six in that website, you will see what I am then talking why didn't about. Is counting to six too all hard for you? Arguing that had to happen. Why couldn't you? I have been trying to. All right, I guys. Have been all right, we're. It's just. A, it's it's a miscommunication going on here. Okay. It's clearly everybody needs to retract, retreat, breathe, take a breather, and we're gonna get right back to it. Come on, we can do this, guys. Okay, keep the the blood pressure low, guys. It's not healthy. I know there's a lot of passion flowing through the veins. I just posted the link for you again. I want to see a link. I want to see the specific video you want to show. It's not a video. It's I don't know, what's the point of asking for not evidence if you're going to deny it anyway? Hang on. No, so it's not a video. Why would it be a video? This is I'm going gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna to jump in just real quick. It's photos. It's uh, a website from a surveyor. It's not yeah, why, I've seen it. I don't know why everything needs to be a video. Yeah. So yeah, I want. I want to add. Nothing in science says you have to have a video. I just want to add to it real quick. The uh the actual trans or uh, the satellite is off to the left. It's not actually level, by the way. Yeah. But we went through this before. Off to the Don, left. It's one hundred percent level. Memory, my brother. Literally no, level. it's off to the left. It's I'll literally... get. I'll get the image and show you. Yeah, but that off to the left doesn't. It makes no difference. It's still. Yeah, it should be pointing directly. The, the heights right are out. off. Oh, the heights are off. It should be so if you want if you want if you want to say bullshit to, to Jesse Kwasowski himself, feel free to do that. Oh, Saying bullshit doesn't here, debunk the evidence. Yeah, you can go and find him on Twitter. He's a, a freely available to I'm talk to. I'm going to find this jackass. Just show me his video. Well, that sounds like a you problem, doesn't it? I want to see his video. You got It's not a video. He doesn't have a video. It a video. It's a website, so dipshit. It has to be a video. Why does it have to be a video? No, no. Why? Why does it have to be a video? Yeah, they like. Yeah, I mean, everybody that, likes. No, no, please just let me let let him respond. So I can see the setup. It's it's. What do you got? No common sense. You think I want to see photos and words? Uh, well, right. and, and if it's the same thing, even these photos debunk himself. The levels how? are off. According to who? According to looking at the level. So you're an expert in surveying. Level. Are you an expert in surveying? You don't have to be an expert in surveying. Oh, you do. You do to look at a video and say the level is off, or to look at a photo and say the level is off. No, but you don't have to be an expert to know that you can't use tools um, long so distance. You're not going to let me answer, right? Now, I was a builder for fucking all my life in transit, and this should remind quite the fat fuck that we had this conversation before. He was telling me a transit doesn't measure the same thing as a Seattleite does. It does. And I have the fucking message he sent me. Everybody saw it. And he retracted. And he gave in and said, you're right. So now we're going to look at the same shit again? Because this is what you do. You okay, get uh, bounced I, I around, stop being then you bring it back so I can and forget it ever bond. happened. That's what you did. Okay, well, well none uh, of that okay, means so, that the level um, is off. So... Him, yeah, the level isn't off. Let him it's respond simply to not the in the story. Off. Show me the pictures. Yeah. Let him respond, but bro. The level is not the level is not off. Here I'm showing it again. The level is not off. They are both the field lights are level. Can't That's exactly how he set them up. Picture? What are you showing me? I am showing you evidence from a surveyor that they that there is curvature across water. Do you think a licensed surveyor would not know how to level a freaking? No a licensed surveyor would take a shot 1.3 miles over the marine layer. Okay, so if you see that, if you see the let me get in, let me get in, let me get in. Let me get in. Let me get in real quick. Let me get in. Jesse Kwasowski is a licensed surveyor. Let's grab. Let me get. Let me get in real quick. Let me let me just get in real quick. So there is the image uh, taken of the theatolite that you're looking onto through the other theatolite that is off. It is leaning to the left. It is not level. 
and they, they don't look to it's other satellites to get measurements, and they definitely wouldn't do it one point something miles over the marine layer to get accurate, accurate measurements. Except he they, did do that. Yeah, but so, not accurately you know. is what I'm saying. If he did do that, that's Except fine. Except he, he's got it accurately. You're, you're, you're cutting me off now, sir. I don't know why. That's what he does. So, I mean, you're just saying he didn't from. do something that he no, literally but, did. What I'm saying is this licensed surveyor that you're agreeing with used very professional tools to do something that no other surveyor would ever do because they would be inaccurate. They know they would be inaccurate. That's why they don't do it. And in fact, it's not, it's, it, it, it's not just this one observation. This website has 10 observations on of the curvature of the earth. Are they all long distance? There. Like, They're all like short distances. Over water? No, oh, several oh, different oh, uh, the things set up. But um, again, the, 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 both the other lights were set up level. They weren't off to the left. They weren't leaning. They were both level. So you look at that picture and you tell me it's not off. Which that's picture why I asked, I that's why I asked Don, where did that photo off. come from? It came from a close-up of your of your shit. Oh, that Are photo that I posted, that photo on? came from the website. It's You got to look through. There's quite a bit. You just keep scrolling which, down. Which down. section of the website? Uh, from Kalowski, what, however you pronounce his name, it's from that actual website, from those images. Uh, yeah, no, I get that, but like, middle? which section? There's like a bunch of numbers. Do you know which number it was under? Oh, no, 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 necessarily. Hang on, I'm trying uh, to get to it. To be All right. fair, that would be helpful. To, to be fair, the bubble level is to level the transit. The if it's an auto level, it's gonna it's gonna find plumb and level itself out. Like, um, that's yeah, just to get that's it close. What surveyor's equipment does. Right, and that's how yeah. I know you would never use it over the marine layer right. long distance because I use them every day. It, except it, it was used over that. Maybe, maybe not, yeah, but maybe not for but, practical purposes, but you used it for practical like, practical you use well, like, yeah. You can't use it practically and get accurate measurements. That's why practically they don't use it long distance over the well, marine what, layer. What was he really trying to do with it? Well, Earth is life. I, I'm not sure why you're even in this conversation. But what was he, what was he trying to do with it? I don't know. I mean, you, can, you can go out and view these things and try and take measurements of the marine layer all you want, but you're not going to be accurate with it. And if you're going to use it for accuracy and post it on your website as accurate measurements of whatever, if you're going to call it earth curve or angle differences or whatever you want to label it, um, then you're either being deceptive or you're not actually a licensed surveyor. I thought this conversation started with him saying that plumb, blob, plumb bobs are not perpendicular. And no, that's right. that yep. diverge. That. They diverge, you said. Diverge. Yeah. Sorry, yeah. I thought that's what they started yeah. with, and I'm not seeing any evidence for that at all. Does anybody well, else actually have started evidence? Both the other lights are set up level, looking at each other, and the sites do not line up. That means that the plumb bobs would not be level, as mm -hmm. I've explained you, several you times. You don't line up sites to two theatolites for one. No no surveyor would ever do that either. It, 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 this surveyor did it here, so I mean, right. that's you why keep I'm saying no surveyor does it. But I've got an actual website of an actual surveyor doing it. So saying no surveyor does it is categorically wrong because this surveyor did do it. Well, I'm just saying that's you're, you're finding someone on YouTube who's done it, but it not a, call up a surveyor He's not on YouTube. Uh, well, actually, he is. He, he didn't do this on YouTube. So just call 10 surveyors and say, you know, would you ever point two auto levels at, at each other and measure something? It's kind of weird. Especially yeah, water. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, well, if you want to argue I with mean, the surveyor, doing what he does as a surveyor, that that's fine. Well, I'm not arguing but, with yeah, anybody. This, I'm this just shows that this shows happened. that things that are are level at each point would not have perpendicular matching each other. Plumb bobs would diverge. Um, the fact that this isn't the only surveyor that has measured the curve of the Earth. In fact, if you go to mc2.net forward slash r, there is countless measurements of the curve of the Earth done by entire teams of surveyors all around the world throughout history. And so if their measurements the show the Earth, to, if, here, if uh, their, hold on, if their measurements show the Earth to be curved, then plumb bobs will diverge. So are you saying, in other words, if I have a plumb bob here where I am in Montreal and I hang it up here in my living room? And somebody down and say, oh, Washington, D.C., his plumb bob would be like uh, hanging sideways, like horizontal, and mine would be would vertical. Be is, that, is that what you're yours. saying? It would be diverged from yours, yes. So you're saying one plumb bob would be horizontal and the other one would be vertical. 
No, I'm saying that one person's horizontal is not another person's horizontal. Yeah, so that's exactly yeah. what you're saying. Thank you, sir. Wow, that's incredible. Well, that's what it is. I mean, th this is a fact in how the world works, you know? So th there, there is that. Your, your world, and, yeah, maybe your world. No, no, mine, the sir. actual world. And like I have, like I tried no, you to have say, no proof of um, that. Show me that. I have, I, I have plenty of proof. No, just show me. And no, this one just my, happens. Hang on. Okay, I, Hang I'm, on, trying I'm trying to talk. I'm trying to talk. I'm trying to I know, talk. but I'm trying to and, ask you a very pointed question. Yeah, you, you don't want I to haven't it. finished what I'm saying. Maybe once can I finish Can you back up your claim that, 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 can you show me two theologues, one horizontal and one vertical to each other, like from the same I didn't. I didn't say one would be horizontal. You one said that's vertical. what happened. I said, I, I said one person's horizontal is not another person's right, horizontal. Right, so if you now, set one up vertical in a position... I would like to demonstrate shoots, that the Earth is not... Now I would no, like to demonstrate that the Earth show is that. not... Own, and now I would like to demonstrate that the Earth is not only curved, but also rotating, with nothing but a pendulum. Can we do that? So you're changing the well, subject, how, no, in other words. You're changing the subject. Can we first well, see we, that the we, we've gone through so this. far it, apart? Now, can we see that the satellites that are so far apart that you claim one would be vertical and one would be um, perpendicular to it? I didn't say that. I said one person's horizontal is not another person's horizontal. Right, which Please you're saying if one's on one side and one's on the top and one's, you know, whatever, 15,000 miles away, it wouldn't be the same vertical, right? It would be different. I'm saying one person's horizontal will not be another person's horizontal. Do I right. have to repeat myself again? Can you show that with the theodolites? Yes, the two field lights that I've just shown in that experiment, okay. one per one of the horizontals does not match the other horizontal. The ones that you showed the picture over water? Yeah, the, those two horizontals do not match. That's why the sights do not line up. You're talking about the I would like, I would like to further back up, miles over water. I would like to further back up my claim that the Earth is spherical, well, and can we I can close this one the out same first? claim. I can also, in the same claim, show that the Earth is rotating. Can we just finalize this point? Because it's a pretty extraordinary claim that over one point something miles, you could get an accurate measurement to say that the Earth is curved through an optical tool. Because did it, I've shown the evidence. I have, sh You're I have shown the evidence You're over and me over and over. Again. Why are we going to let him finish? Right at the end. Right at the end. Right at the end. Go ahead. I'll start over again. I would like to finalize the claim that these tools that are very accurate when used properly, but when you use them over the marine layer, especially long distance, even short distances over the marine layer, no one does that, but long distance, like over a mile, like he did, and say that you're getting an accurate measurement to prove earth curve. Uh, yeah, I'd like for him to back that claim up and say how he's using an optical tool to view the measuring, um, you know whatever uh, how, measurements he's taken how accurate do you have to be well you tell if me you're just trying to show if you're well, just trying on. to show just, things that drop FDFP, below let fdfb respond yeah stop cutting in b-ball uh i can cut in whenever i want okay, actually so uh stop no, that's not muting me when i'm trying to There's talk about people fantastic. finish their sentences uh, thank you yeah yeah for wonderful that would be great if people actually did that for me as well but again the, uh, the 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 surveyor actually has methods of making sure that the the, the sites match up and the refraction is taken into account uh, by turning the theodolite up the other way and doing the the matchings of that way. It's actually all described in the pro the process he he did to make sure that refraction okay. is actually a variable that is taken into account in what he is doing. Just go to the website; it explains the entire thing. Any more questions? Please feel free to contact Jesse. So he calculated in refraction to come up with his measurement. He didn't calculate in refraction. He accounted well, he, for refraction. Right, which is a calculation, right? Well, no, you can test it at the time to see what refraction levels are. Um, you as long as you know things like the, the attempt. Yes, it's very easy to do so. Yeah, the refraction. Okay, so you the test it and you come up with a figure. Right. It's going gonna, it's gonna to make my measurement yeah. off this much. Is that what he did? Yeah, and they can, they can adjust for that. They can so literally account for that variable. Yeah, it, again, all the details of how he did it are in that website. Yeah, I know. I've, I've seen it. He calculated in refraction. He used refraction in, after he took his measurement. He calculated it. If he, if he didn't, he'd get an error. I guess. Yeah. What tool? Yeah, what you show is tool error and, and, and um, human error, or does he just use refraction? Well, um, 
margin of error is something that is always accounted for. And in fact, the measurements do include a margin of error on that website. So, wow, we're getting into some pretty big numbers, especially over a mile. How much was he off? I'm not sure of the exact numbers, but uh, well, enough to show off, that there the was mar a margin of error isn't being off. That is something. Okay. A margin it's of said. error is the minimum amount that the equipment could actually determine is accurate or not. So according, <laughs> whatever you want to call According it. to the website, it says curve drop from horizontal plane at standpoint was 0 0.15 decimal feet. 0 so. 0.15. And you're saying human error, tool error, and refraction is not plus or minus that measurement? That's I don't know. I'm that's hard you, you asked what his measurement was. There, there you go. I didn't look for anything else. Yeah, I'm asking for, for details on what this guy brought okay. up as he, definite proof. He, I think he oh, oh, no, 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 hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Here we go, here we go. It has it right here. Uh, yep. Northing error. I don't know. I don't, I don't know what these are, so hopefully you know what these are. Northing error was listed as 0 0.019 feet. Easting error was 0 0.012 feet. Elevation error was 0 0.06. And height error was 0 0.06. And then it has it from multiple other points, the same, well, not the same, but like the same categories and, and different numbers. Those, yeah, no that's, problem. That's error that I see there. That's uh, a lot of error. I mean, not really. Well, that's, when you're trying to measure something so minute it is, zero, I mean, you okay, got to realize. 0 0.02, 0 point, I'm going to round here. So 0 0.02, 0 0.01, 0 0.06, and 0 0.06. That adds up to a total of 0 point, what, one, two, one, three? I don't know. Something like that, which isn't a lot. Well, it is when you're measuring 0 0.10. Well, the, and then this, that's this error refraction, right? for the points themselves and not necessarily for the actual curve drop. Like I said, I don't really know that much about surveying. I'm just reading what I see. <laughs> yeah, I get it. So does he say what the refraction uh, that he yeah, used? What I've, was... been, I've been looking for it. I'll let yeah, you know I if you. I find it. No problem. Thanks, man. Okay, so um, can we move on to the next subject now? Well, we didn't finish the that, horizontal is level fight the flutter. Well, we, we, we did. Went, horizontal we, is not level. That That's that's the answer to that. So, you know. Yeah. Is that, that's Wait, it? Who determined that? Yeah. Uh, the fact that who level made, means conforming to the curvature. The, 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 the fact that level literally means on Earth conforming to the curvature of the liquid parts of Earth's surface. That is the literal definition of level on Earth. So that I'm does so not glad conform. You said that. Now, that's only that? one definition. Where did they get that from? No, 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 no. There are actually the that's, the, that's the objective level. of that's the adjective, the describing word of level when on Earth, according to the dictionary. The horizon, in other words, right? The water in the horizon, right? That's what I you were just referring to. No, no. Um, you just said the I, water. I, I, may I make, make a comment? I feel as though that that definition is begging the question for the globe. Uh, well, it's not. It's, just for it's, not, it's not because the definition was derived from the knowledge that the Earth is a globe. Um, let him answer, say, please. Wait, wait, wait. Let him and, answer. And, and let also, him if, if I could go to... to um, oh, you have to it, let me respond. You can't make a claim and not let me respond. So you're wait, saying... Wait, I thought that, I was no, responding. Oh, I'm going to mute you, bro. Listen. You're I thought, saying, I'm just going to mute Hold on. Just, Craig, just let him... Just Listen, let me respond. How many so mods are in here? Yeah, I, I said, I said, the, the de you said the definition is that it's curved. I said that definition is begging the question. You said that's the definition. All It's always been the definition. That can't be true because oh, people that's used level said. measurements in the past before the globe model was fucking made. Uh, can you can give we me a citation time? for that, please? Uh, every building made that's level to water. They used level. They used water okay. level. To um, make how many buildings? All ancient civilizations, you dumb fuck. Yeah, yeah. All because right, guys, water let's conforms keep that to the curvature of the Earth's surface. That's just no, because it's flat, and they need a flat Ooh. surface. No, it's level. Don't you, you fucking get it? Level You're doesn't mean flat. Level. Curved. You're not gonna build a house curved. I just called into question every house is curved. Of level, every single that it house in the, the world. Fucking question of yeah. the globe. Uh, so again, it's not begging the question. It's a description. Um, and also, I have 45 citations to back up that description from profess professionals that use level in their job. Uh, in fact, according to surveyors, uh, true level is the surface of the Earth, the curvature of the surface of the Earth. Wait, wait, I'm, I'm not lying. Literally, 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 for wait, 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 hold on. Literally, over 45 citations from professionals that back me up 
that level is curved. mctune.net okay. forward slash level. Now? We get it. Okay, yeah. that's a nice that's a nice appeal to authority, but the, the thing that we're Not debating the is the no. surface of the earth being level. So if you're begging the question of the surface is, being right. curved already in the definition, we can't use your definition. Level uh, doesn't no, 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 mean no. I'm not begging the you're, question. Level means conforming to the curvature of the liquid parts of the surface. I'm not begging the question. That is the definition. Wait, hold on, Noah. You don't let him say what he needs to say. Uh, I'm just saying that, that the definition that's the definition. is begging not, it, the question, you idiot. The definition is not begging the question when the I have 45 citations. The question, you uh, moron. Uh, the definition you is not begging the question. Right, the guys. definition all is right, not right, begging right, the right. question, dipshit, right. when I have 45 oh, citations. Oh, guys. Let's do this this way. FTFE, explain how you think that the definition, how you explain the definition is not begging the question. How is it not? Explain that. Because it's not begging the question of anything. It is a description. You can't just say that. <laughs> it's not begging the question. It's not begging the question. But the how is it begging the question when it's a description? It's as if the earth is a plane or a sphere. You're using a definition that inherently says the surface of the earth is a sphere, therefore begging the question of your side of the debate. Thank you. Uh, no, it's not a definition. description, not begging the question. I have citations to back it up, therefore not begging the question. And just the same, right. oh, anyone that says anyone, anyone that says level is flat is also begging the question according to you. That is yes, not how exactly. begging the question works. Exactly. You're begging the, the question. The actual definition, definition of definition, level, which yours. is used by we surveyors. We need a neutral definition or we, we can't go anywhere. What, we need a neutral uh, well, definition. There, there is not there. a neutral definition Definitions because the definition, definition of level is literally that the earth is curved. That is the definition. We're so, not going to change the definition so find, because you so don't like old it. old book describing the, the word level as not the earth's curve, am I automatically right now because I have a citation uh, from some If you can guy. find uh, an adjective for uh, level and it's talking specifically about the surface of earth, then you would have something to talk about. But I, again, have 45 plus citations to back me up with my claim. So you want a democracy? Majority rules? Sorry? You want a democracy uh, no, or this majority is, rules? Uh, this, no. is, this, this is surveyors. Is this, this is evidence. That this is citations. So if the majority of people decide on something, it makes it reality now. So so if we all unicorns, citations no. so if we all from professionals. Unicorns, we uh, okay, okay. Again, let me... Why do we always gotta go to unicorns? All right, guys, man, let's just Why chill this out, man. Asking, what we're asking for is a citation. Any citation that this level as meaning flat. That's it. Just, just I'm literally any citation. posting things Where? from surveying manuals that show specifically that horizontal and level are two different things. Okay, so thanks. Like, cool. Notice how from P to A, okay, 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 guys, 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 notice guys. somehow P to A in his picture they have hey. the horizon r rising. Okay, I, I, I was talking and I got the beaten. horizon so never like, rises it, 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 on a globe unless it's concave, which it is. Oh my goodness, so let's not bring that in, dude. Let's play yeah, let's stay on let's stay on point real quick here. You want to, so, uh, okay, guys, you I want to chime in. Let me chime in. Guys, 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 guys. I was in the middle of talking and someone muted me. All right, that needs to stop happening. Do not mute me again. All right, so uh, real quick, are we uh, done with this? Real, uh, don't mute him, man. Come on, guys. Now, listen, okay. Don't do that. Do adjective, adjective for level. Okay, that's great. Are we moving? Uh, muting me. Oh, Where's muting me? Just cut it out. Shut the fuck up. Okay, come on, Harp. Chill you out. shut the fuck up, dipshit. <laughs> we need to calm down. Chill up. Chill up. Chill up. Hey, hey. Man. Okay, so uh, we hey, listen. I'm speaking. I'm, pressure, I'm right? speaking. Okay, so, I'm speaking. I'm speaking. I'm speaking. I, I, I am. I, me. I, I, Don. I, speaking. Do you hear it? Do you hear me? Hello. Okay. Are we moving on from this argument? Because obviously we're not coming to an agreement on what level is or horizontal is. So I like to move forward. Now, I have Arma here. He's the guy that's been working with Yay. me on Blender. No, I'm not doing that right now. No. But, but Arma, <laughs> would, you allow, would you actually, for the panel, tell... Uh, no. Would, no I'm, I'm, I'm going to ask you a simple question. Let's do it done. Let's do it at a later date. It's not going to happen right now. No, I just want to ask him a simple question. I want to ask him a simple question. Is it a... Is it a n nice 
claim or argument, if you will. What? Would you agree that it's a better representation of how we see or can mistaken spherical curvature versus light over or circumference of light over a flat plane? Would you say that for the panel? Ah, I love I it mean, when he does I saw it. Because there was holes. Well, I mean, you already showed me like you went late. You know, you went down it, and then I, I you know, I poked a hole in one of the pictures you sent me. So I mean, eh, I don't know. But I'll go back to the topic with the fight the flat earth. Um, that was interesting. Yeah, let, let's save that. Can, I, can I just can I just take a, a break? What one second, guy? Can I just for oh, one okay. second so um, outside the conversation we're having here? Okay. Cool. Uh, but can I? Okay. I'm just want, uh, want just one second. This isn't for stream. this isn't for this conversation. This this is for my stream. So give me one second, please. Thank you. Um, I just want to say thank you to Wolfie sixty twenty, uh, who's just donated me a hundred dollars. That, that's amazing, Wolfie. You are the fucking bomb. Thank you very much. <laughs> Sorry, I do, I do I do apologize for interrupting you, whoever that was. Uh, please go ahead. Yeah, uh, that's right. Flat Earth is hard one every day. Correct. This Discord exists, so. I, I would and just here like you to are. Say on, Indeed, you here know, I am at request on... of someone else. Oh yeah, I would just like, I would just like to say that on the whole definition of level, the word derives from an old French word that has nothing to do with the severosity of the Earth, and it has only to do with balancing water. So it really doesn't have to do with the curve as of before this whole globe model took steam and went off, and everyone started using it in their everyday vocabulary when I mean, if, it, if, it, if all of, if if what you're saying is true and all it refers to is water then it doesn't really help either of us yeah, and it, it comes from the old word in roman libre for scale so it goes all the way back it doesn't indicate the surface is a sphere in any way un uh, until, yeah, really. until okay uh, however in modern usage it 100 percent does yeah. and according to all professionals the and word level in your is the curvature of the earth everyone else's and why do we have well, to use your i have citations question? from professionals why do we have to use your begging the question definition because i'm not i'm not begging the question i am using definitions i am using definitions from professionals that use level in their everyday oh, job if gets so, to do yeah, yeah. Uh, you know, they would be paid to do a job, yes. Yes, yes. So, wait, 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 wait. Um, so now, now we have Appeals determined the that the definition of level, the Appeals adjective the of level when uh, talking to the no, surface of Earth, is, is the, curve, you know, the curvature of the Earth. That, that's fine. You Sorry, don't understand don't fallacies. I get it. So now, right, we've we finished that, and we're going to move on to the next subject, right? Um, I have a question for the panel, all right? It's a very simple question. Can anyone here present me a experiment that shows that the Earth is stationary. Uh, a puddle of Are water. You Are you moving That's right now? That's not an experiment. But we got the ocean. Okay. Field to senses. We okay, have. Wait, wait, okay. Wait, so wait, wait, uh, wait, 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 none of those things are an experiment. Right, let me let one, me ask the question one, again. It's a very one. specific question. I have one. It's a very specific question. Wait, I'm let about me finish. To let me just question. just so everyone can I, hear. Do you want me to Does anybody to have an experiment? Yeah, let me just let me just ask again. So it can be. Give me one sec. One second. One second. Okay, guys, guys, guys. Okay, come on. Ask it again, just to be clear. Does anybody here have an experiment that follows the scientific method? That can demonstrate that the Earth is stationary. Yes. Okay, please present that experiment. Oh, uh, can I can I make mine now? After yes. you repeated yourself yes. five times. Yes. Okay, yes, let's ahead. see. Okay, my hypothesis is that the world is stationary. Therefore, if I put a rock on this stool right now, it'll stay there. Okay, wait. Let me. Okay, wait. Oh, that was fucking great, man. Holy that shit! It's staying there. So that it's rock. staying there. Uh, My prediction was correct. Okay, so that, um, that rock is traveling the same speed as the Earth. That is not an experiment that would be possible to measure if the Earth was moving. Do you have an experiment that is capable it of determining all, if bro. the Earth is rotating? The Earth is not moving. You're assuming well, that, that rock is traveling with the Earth. Invalid experiment. You're just you assuming that the Earth is moving. Uh, that is an invalid thesis? experiment. You have not. You have not accounted for the fact that the rock wouldn't move. Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. Hold on, please. That is an invalid experiment. You have not accounted for in science. You need to account for all variables except for the specific one you're trying to test. You have failed to account for the possibility of the rock being held down to the earth by some force and the conservation earth moving, of momentum and the earth moving with the rock. You have not accounted for that in any way. I don't care if. It, you, you want to say, oh, well, you'd have to be assuming that. No, you still have to account for it. 
and you actually have to um you know stick within the laws of physics that rock so is on the surface of the earth uh, i i'm i'm talking i'm talking i'm talking anything you make up thank you brain i i'm talking i'm talking yes i'm talking yes i'm talking if you made up like if you made up guys wind, we'd have to can, I, like, can i finish please the wind might move the rock let me account for no that. can we get right. one microphone for all of you guys everybody please thank you can we get one can can I if I can I respond? Thank you. Right. Okay. So um, you've completely ignored conservation of momentum, which is you know a real thing that exists in the universe. So uh, that experiment is completely invalid, as you have failed completely to account for any variables. Okay. So do so you how, have an experiment that actually okay, follows so how the scientific method? How is that experiment method? different from your pendulum? How is that experiment different? Very from different. Your uh, Thank you. Very explain different it. because explain it, the, explain it for the pendulum. I'm I'm trying to, but you keep over talking me. If you could shut your mouth and let me explain, I would gladly do so. Right. So the rock is a stationary thing that's just sitting there on the earth and has the movement of the earth imparted onto it. Conservation of momentum is a thing. That rock is traveling the same speed as the earth. You pick it up, it's still got that momentum that the earth imparted onto it. However, a pendulum contains a freely moving swinging object, which will be affected by the Coriolis forces of the earth. It's very simple. A stationary rock will not be affected by Coriolis. It is simply carrying its conservation of momentum. A swinging pendulum will have Coriolis forces imparted onto it that are directly proportional to the latitude on Earth, meaning the drift of the pendulum will be different. A rock is not a freely moving object. The swing above a pendulum absolutely is. That yeah, is okay, why you your rock example Coriolis, is stupid. Yeah, um, can you define like Coriolis? Know, uh, yeah, is Coriolis... Coriolis is... Wait, 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 wait. Yeah, Coriolis, uh, 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 that's the question. question Cor Coriolis is a result of conservation so of momentum. You guys are trying to talk at the same time. Yeah, yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm waiting. Sorry, what was your question? Uh, my question was, is Coriolis the observed difference, the observed difference in the route, or the thing that causes the pendulum to, uh, I guess, diverge from going back and forth? Is it the cause Coriolis. or the observed effect? What would you say? Uh, the Coriolis is the cause of the drift of a pendulum, depending on the latitude of Earth. Okay. At different latitudes, different Coriolis forces will be applied to the swinging bob of a pendulum, meaning that it will drift a different amount. Uh, you can calculate right. the exact amount when you use Foucault's sine law. Okay, I have a backup question for that. Now, how does... Please go ahead. Yes, yeah, so you have your observed effect on this pendulum. And you have this yeah. uh, cause that predicts this, uh, cori this Coriolis force that you can predict depending on the latitude. Now, how does that prove a ball exactly? Because it's very simple. This is something that can only happen on a three-dimensional rotating object. Because the latitude of the, uh, of the experiment will yield a different result. And that latitude will have a different radius from the center of Earth. The latitude lines get smaller, the further north or south you go. So because the latitude lines are smaller uh, and the drift corresponds to the reducing latitude lines, it shows that the Earth is spherical because the predictions match a spherical rotating object imparting specific amounts of Coriolis force onto the swinging bob of a pendulum, which is why you can literally calculate your latitude on Earth from nothing but the drift of a swinging pendulum. That's literally all you need, the drift of a swinging pendulum, and you can figure out your latitude on Earth. And that alone proves that the Earth is spherical because the different amount of Coriolis forces based on the different radius of, uh, of latitude lines north or south of the equator. Nonsense, and I'll tell you why. First of all... Please go ahead. The, the definition of the... The definition of the Coriolis, you didn't say it. Can you please explain it? And then I'll, uh, I'll see if you said it correctly or not. Coriolis is the result of conservation of momentum. Absolutely incorrect. Let me tell you what the Coriolis no, 100 is. No, 100% not incorrect. Coriolis, uh, you're going to argue with someone who's studied Coriolis well, in let's the see physics what, let's hear, let's Coriolis hear is literally the result of conservation of momentum. We don't need to hear your ego. We already heard what you said. Let uh, no one's, no one's talking to you, uh, sorry, no I don't care. To you right I'm now. a mod here, so why don't no, you... I don't care. You be quiet. No one's talking to you right now. I don't care. I can speak whatever I want to. You're being a dick, dude. You like No one needs to hear you. No, hold on. I want to hear his definition. I want to hear his definition. I want to hear his definition. Thank you. Let's go. 
whoever whoever it was. Okay, so let me try now. We're gonna go to the merry-go-round, make it simple, because I don't think you have any knowledge really of what it is. Hold on, hold on. Before, before, before you even start, the merry-go-round is not him. a merry-go-round. Let SE finish what he's going to say. I don't need to hear what he's gonna. I yes, you do. Thank you, whoever just muted him. Stop, everyone. Just stop being. You're like children. I feel like I'm like with a team of my four-year-old. Let SE finish what he's gonna say. Thank you. Thank you, Shines. I'm gonna be brief. So we're on the merry-go-round uh, fight the flat Earth. I'm on one side. Yeah. You're on the other, right? Correct. I have a ball. I throw the ball to you. The ball travels in a straight line once I release it. Now, what you think is a curve is not a curve. It's an observable movement from the rotating frame. But the ball uh -huh. is actually going straight. Do you agree with yeah, that? So from the reference frame, it appears the curve, correct? It appears so the if curve. You, if, yes, if, appears you were to on, curve. if you were on that roundabout, from your point of view, will the ball curve? If you're on the roundabout, you're asking me if the ball would actually curve? No, if you see it. From curve, your, from, you from your point curve. of view. Stop talking, whoever's curve. talking, man. Let me and Fight the Flat Earth have a, a, a minute, for the love of God. Please go okay, ahead, so, uh, Fight the Flat Earth. So, um, the roundabout is a very bad explanation of Coriolis on Earth because it's oh, not spherical. God. It's a 2D plane, okay? The way to explain to you what Coriolis is, is the result of conservation of momentum, right? And this is the simple way to explain it. Imagine that the Earth is a rotating sphere and the equator is moving in a tangential velocity of a thousand miles an hour, which is the claim of the heliocentric model. Okay, we following? If you were at the equator and you were to fire a ballistic, uh, you know, non-powered uh, you know, projectile of some kind north from the equator, that, from your point of view, will physically drift ahead of the right of the uh, of the rotation. Physically drift to the right. The reason for that is that when it leaves the surface of the Earth, that has a tangential velocity of a thousand miles an hour, it then moves north into an area of the Earth that has a lower tangential velocity. So, as it travels north, it's going to be going over an area that now has a tangential velocity of 950 miles an hour instead of 1,000 miles an hour. However, because that projectile, when it left the surface of the Earth, had the, had the momentum of that 1,000 miles an hour to, uh, to the east, it maintains that and will drift ahead of the rotation. That is a physical phenomenon that actually happens on Earth and has been recorded and verified many, many times. Coriolis is a direct You're waffling on now. I got it. Now momentum. my turn, please. My turn. You went ahead of the conversation. First of all, we have to define no, what the Coriolis is. You're telling me it affects on all kinds of things. Can we agree on a simple explanation first? We have to define terms, right? If we don't define terms, we're going to talk past each other. Now. Okay, so can, can I read to you from uh, .edu then to, it, to no, define no, the terms? No, no, let me talk. No, no. Now it's my turn to talk. I'm going to explain it in a simple terms. The Coriolis okay. effect back on the merry-go-round is the apparent, the apparent deviation of a ball. When you throw it on the rotating reference frame, it appears to be going to curve. But in actuality, the ball is traveling straight. So the Coriolis effect is an apparent, I repeat, apparent visual effect. Do you understand that, Fight the Flat Earth? Yes uh, or no? It's a physical phenomenon that can be measured. Incorrect. Absolutely no, no, incorrect. incorrect. And I will now cite and I will now cite a .edu page to disprove what you are saying. In no, fact, I will first of all, you have to understand right what I said. If you don't understand, uh, I, I understand said, that you are completely you, wrong. You and I'm going to read forward. the page now. I am going to read the page now to show exactly how wrong you are. Uh, so uh, from stras.ssc.wisc.edu forward slash courses forward slash gg101 forward slash Coriolis forward slash Coriolis.html. The Coriolis force, responsible for large scale weather patterns and legendarily, although not really, the cause of the direction of water swirling down the sink because the forces are too small. But when trying to explain how it really works, most physicists come up with a blank points to the equation and mutter something about rotating frames of reference. It's not really our fault. We've only ever seen the equations and rotating frame experiment. This article will ex attempt to explain the basic workings of the Coriolis effect in terms a non-physicist can understand. The basic premise. 
The following premises are necessary to convey the explanation. One, Newton's first law. Specifically, objects in motion tend to stay in motion. Two, exactly. The ball travels exactly. Uh, That's I, what I, you die right there. The, I didn't you get to die on that hill. Saying. The ball will travel in a straight line. Saying. Correct. Go ahead. That, that, Correct. That's lo so it's lovely I didn't get to finish what I was saying. No, Newton's you will. I law, just want to point that out. Go ahead. Uh, yeah, okay. You're still talking to me. Wonderful. Specifically, objects in motion tend to stay in motion. Two. And this is very important spherical geometry of earth x degrees of longitude gives you more or less miles of distance at different latitudes objects are effectively confined to the surface by gravity thickness of atmosphere is a tiny percentage of the earth's radius three centripetal acceleration if the velocity is too high the object will try to increase its radius if the velocity is too low the object will try to decrease its radius um, and that's talking about east to west coriolis rather than north to south um, so are you going to keep talking explain, for a half an hour or what? You're going to read the whole book? I'm, I'm reading the page to you so you can understand from an actual physicist right. what the Coriolis is. I understand. Right, okay? And I so, just showed you how wrong you are by, by your own, uh, what you just so, said. Of course, right so for all the physicists, all physicists are wrong, are they? It's not all physicists. Don't go with yeah, the all so physicists. This, this is what physicists say. You're reading this is what one page. Sunshine, this is what physicists say. Dot edu. This is used to teach people about Coriolis. You said. This is, let me see this if is I can what is literally used without to you interrupting me. I don't think so, you will. Uh, I don't let, think let you will. Let me finish what you? I'm saying. So the I Earth rotates to the east at an effective constant angular velocity. Are we going to let this guy just read from a page like for half an hour? I don't understand. Is this an I, I'm trying to explain to you what the Coriolis is. You, 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 you disagree, and I'm reading it to you from no, a dot I didn't ask him to read a book. So, well, um, Coriolis anyway, isn't exactly simple. Yes, it, it's not. So, I can do it in under 30 seconds. Oh, okay, very, so very inaccurate and talk about a 2D plane, not a 3D plane, uh, a 3D object. It's, it's wonderful. Do you not think that no, Coriolis no, it's not a 2D plane? What are you talking about? Okay, okay, guys, don't do that for you. Is, is America around 3D? On, shut is your America mouth for one 3D? second. Is shut America around 3D? Shut your fucking mouth for one okay, second. Okay, Let me guys. talk. Okay. Thank you. Thank you. You said it yourself. Conservation of momentum. Once you release the ball, it travels in a straight line. There's nothing you can say or do that can change that. The deviation is apparent. Get it through your thick skull. Yes, and okay, is is the surface me. of a merry-go-round right. a three-dimensional object? What, one sec. Yes, one sec. it is. What Don. kind of a stupid one, question one is that? Like, everyone, stop! I'm trying to talk. Okay, God. okay, okay, guys, guys, let's let's That's chill out. out. Like, Don, let's, Don, I'm gonna ask. I'm gonna ask you here. Yeah. Let's chill don't out, everybody. Else, don't, don't let me be muted again. When yeah, I'm no, to talk, don't mute, right? don't mute him. You guys just you tried know, to. You know what? Hold on. Right, hold no, on. no, I, wait, no, no, you shut up. I'm not talking to you. Thank you. Fight to flat earth. Here's right. the thing. We Nobody tried... mute me. End of story. Right. right. Nobody mute me. End of story. All right. Stop don't muting me because you're scared really. of what I've got to say. Right? No, you're interrupting constantly. Like, 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 no, no one's talking to you. Shine to be quiet. No one's talking to be quiet. I don't care. Shine, just be quiet. No, you're not in this conversation. Please go away. Stop Thank you. Stop talking okay. over people or you will be muted. Everyone's talking oh, over everyone me. else. And yes, everyone's and we talking mute them, to me, and you fucking dog. All right, I'm guys. Muted. All right, back everyone on track. Back on track. Back, back to the, back to the arguments. Such a child. Let's go back to the Probably arguments. Back you, to the arguments. Probably because you have a non-material. Hang on. Hang on, d I'm going to do d now. See? See how people get muted? See? Yeah, Shine, uh, people. Shine, I really don't think oh. you should be in charge of. I don't think you're mature enough to be in charge of the mute button. Please just go oh, away. Oh, okay. Okay, yeah. let's stop. Okay. Oh, okay. So, uh, you. Effie, I are you done? Uh, fight to flat earth. Are yeah, you done? So it's wonderful. It's so, noxious. But, uh, uh, no, no I, I haven't finished explaining. Um, okay. Now, my evidence of the Coriolis force being what I explained it to be is the fact that pendulums physically react the way that I described according to the Coriolis. The Coriolis imparts a force that can be measured predicted all right the earth incorrect. is not a incorrect i am still talking shut the fuck up D just I, listen just let him finish getting his little rant out and then the i will give you the floor as long as you need it the earth is not a two-dimensional roundabout the earth is a three-dimensional object with physical laws that apply coriolis is the direct result of conservation of momentum. That's why from an outside reference frame, it appears, but from the actual reference frame of being on the earth, there is a physical deflection, at least when you're going north from the equator, ahead of the rotation. This was verified 
but in um, the War of the Falklands, when the British were attacking the Argentinians, and they literally have Coriolis corrections that are part of their firing for, for, their, for the missiles. However, as they were firing uh, south of the equator, the uh, corrections that they applied were actually for the north of the equator and meant that the shots were in twice the distance away than what they expected. Once they corrected the Coriolis corrections and applied them for south of the equator, they managed to hit their target. Coriolis is something that you have to take into account when you are firing artillery over long distances. This is in military manuals and it is, again, the direct result of Coriolis. Why was it? Okay, we okay, so... Okay. Okay, so your 60, your 60, your 60 the seconds point, are... are, are the, I, 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 let me finish. My entire premise for this was that the pendulum is a direct result of Coriolis, and we can predict what the pendulum will do and use the drift of the pendulum to calculate our latitude on Earth. This is what we are talking about. This is a fact. This can be done. So can anyone address that fact? Yes, I will. I okay. will, yes. Okay, so I see it. the floor is yours. If Effie, uh, let him um, speak and have I, the floor, I too. I will. Don't interrupt. Thank you, sirs. Thank you. First of all, I can't believe you said a 2D roundabout, which means a 2D merry-go-round for us North Americans. He thinks that the merry-go-round is 2D. Unbelievable. That's point number one. Point number two, and he said it himself, once the ball leaves your hand, it travels in a straight line. Now, the only deviation that it does, which it does not, is an apparent deviation. It's only from the rotating reference frame, which is the merry-go-round, which makes the ball appear to turn. Fight the Flat Earth has no clue what he is talking about whatsoever. I'm done. Thank you. Cool. Uh, okay, Montreal, so how many axes does a merry-go-round turn on? What kind of a question is that? How many axes does a merry-go-round turn on? It's a very One. simple question. One, One. axis. Yes, and how many axes does the Earth turn on? Or at least how many does it appear to when you're moving around the surface of the Earth? Do you know the answer you're, to that? You're, you just asked me how many axes your mythical Earth spins on, and you think it's more than one? Is that what you're saying? Yes, it is. I had, yes. My God, are you guys listening to <laughs> do me? Do you think the Earth, do you think, th wait, wait, Essie Montreal, do you think the uh, a rotating sphere would only rotate on one axis? I don't think anything. That's your mythical fantasy. I don't no, think no, 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 I, I, I just said a are sphere. Are you saying I there's more than one? Sphere. Are you think, are you saying that? You don't think a sphere rotates in Are you axis? saying there's more than one axis <laughs> on your fantasy spinning sphere? Is that what you guys are saying? Well, the Earth, a, 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 a sphere would rotate in three axes, yes. Yeah. In three axes? You have yep. three yes, axes. A sphere, you have three, a sphere how many would rotate you, in three axes. How many poles do you have? How many poles does your sphere have? Oh, my God. Not about Are you poles. arguing about how many axes a sphere rotates? Oh, my God. No, that's your base fucking palm. L listen up, listen no, it's up. No, it's not my claim. It's not a sphere. Just a physical I don't believe point in your sphere. Spheres. The sphere does so not roll. There's no rotation. I'm asking uh, you. Incorrect. How many in axes does your sphere explain, have? Explain uh, three. Uh, it spins on three axes. So, um, if there is no rotation, <laughs> how do you explain <laughs> the drift <laughs> of a pendulum correlating to the latitude on Earth? All right. I have a question. Focus, focus specifically on that. How does the drift of a pendulum correlate specifically to your latitude on Earth? Yeah, How does yeah, that work yeah. if the Earth and is flat and rotating? My question rotating? specifically about that. I have a specific I'm talking to Essie Montreal that. right now, so if we could no, just no, get no, Essie Montreal's answer. Specifically has to do with but, that. but I'm talking to Essie Montreal right yeah, now, so if but, I can get Essie yeah, Montreal. But... Yeah, 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 but, but I, I, I want to talk to Essie Montreal Okay, right Numpty, now, so Numpty, Numpty, have, um, no, uh, no, uh, no, Numpty, Numpty, it is Essie Montreal and F, uh, Fight the Flat Earth. It's between them two. Yeah. So okay, so the floor is yours. My question for you is, my question for you, Essie Montreal, is if the Earth is not rotating, then how does the drift of a pendulum correlate exactly to your latitude on Earth? It does not. It 100% does. Proven. Now, you just said words. Pendulum uh, okay, well, I can present forth. many. I can present many experiments to to show that it does. No, you can't. What's the mechanism? Yeah, I can. How does it work? How does it work? Yeah, the what's Coriolis the mechanism? Applied. The ones that you, uh, the, the ones that I just proved conservation you are of momentum. visual that don't work. Those conservation of momentum. Okay, so um, you're just denying something. I killed that your conservation it, of it, momentum. It is, it is it. It's the fact. 
Okay, so once again, no, not. how do you ex how do you explain the fact that the drift of a pendulum one hundred percent does correlate to your latitude on Earth? And I have I many experiments you, that I can present to prove talking, this. Stop talking! I just told you it does not. That's just that's words. not an answer. It one hundred percent does. Saying, no, it does not. Deny, Literally one hundred percent. Okay, Arthur's Arthur's life is between uh, fight the flat Earth and SE Montreal again. No, no, anybody jump? Hang on. Does. Anybody no. jumps in, I'm going to mute them. So. Um, this is an experiment I present all the fucking time. Uh, it, it's absolutely incredible that you're just denying something which is experimented with all the time. Um, so there's a channel called The Gentleman Physicist who literally tested this theory by creating his own pendulum. Um, uh, and I'm showing it right now on the live stream if anyone wants to look over there. Uh, if not, um, Dracofire, could you post a link to The Gentleman Physicist video in the chat for me? That'd be great. Are you going to show me so, um, I'm swinging back and forth and you're going to make a, make a claim over it? Is that what you're going to do? Because uh, it ain't going to work. I'm going to show you the experiment and then I'm going to show you other experiments to back it up. Okay. No, so, you're not. You're just going to um, show me pictures of pendulum swinging. Let's get that oh, clear. Yeah, I'm, I'm, going to to show, I'm going to show you the experiment. I'm going to show you the experiment and explain to you what they did. If Here you can is shut up the listen, video in the that chat. would be fantastic. Okay, yeah. now, now, what is the mechanism? Why is the pendulum swinging back and forth in this experiment, please? What's the mechanism? What's causing it? Uh, inertia, gravity. Gravity? How did you vary gravity and inertia? You don't need to. That's not the point of this experiment. <laughs> Say goodbye to your experiment. It just uh, died. The, like IV, uh, the IV in this case, I the buy... independent variable, the thing you wiggle, would be the position on Earth, and the dependent variable would be the measured drift. So shut the fuck your up. Cause, you your, cla your claim cause was gravity, right? No, uh, I said that's one of the and reasons momentum, the pendulum right? would swing Swinging, in the first place. The swing so of the if I in could now, uh, if wait, 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 if I could now explain the experiment yeah. without being interrupted by a stupid question, that would be fantastic. Essie Montreal, here is what happened. The gentleman physicist. Um, you might want to watch my stream to actually watch along with the video. The gentleman physicist made his own. Foucault's pendulum in a local block of flats that, that he's near. Um, the pendulum was made of a concrete uh, ball with a plastic wire around it attached to a fishing line uh, with a um, pivot point at the top so that it swings freely. Um, he released it with uh, a lighter to break the string so that there was no force making it push left or right. And it swung backwards and forwards under its own inertia for as long as it could, in this case for about 45 minutes. Um, as I'm showing on my stream right now, it swung backwards and forwards and it had a little brush underneath that went through this ink pad to show the path of the pendulum. Now, over the 45 minutes that the pendulum was able to swing, there was a noticeable drift in the direction of the swing. Clockwise, which is actually matching one of the predictions of, of the globe model, that it would rotate clockwise if the Earth is rotating like we say. And what they did was after, well, it was 41 minutes past, that was about as long as it could go before it stopped. And they used that to do some calculations and test their predictions, right? The first thing they would need to do is figure out how long it would take to do an entire 360. That, that's called T. So you take that, um, the angle that you've got, um, and you do a bit of maths, and you do, 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 measure it. The clockwise turn means we're in the northern hemisphere. Boy, you tend to waffle on, bro. Yeah, well, I'm trying. I'm going along with the video, which I hope you're, walk, uh, you're watching. So, after the 41 minutes, final time is 0 0.688 hours. The angle that the pendulum drifted was 7.89 degrees. Okay, to calculate t, which is the period of rotation, how long it would take to do an entire turn, you times the 6.88 hours by 360 divided by the degree that you got, and you get t, which is your period of rotation. So it would take 31.4 hours for that pendulum to do an entire 360 degrees. Next thing you do is another bit of math called Foucault's sine law. And this is, this is the brilliant bit, all right? You take that measurement, that 31.4 hours that you've got, that you have calculated yourself from the experiment you've done, and you use Foucault's sine law, which is your latitude equals the arc sine of 24 hours divided by T, 31.4 hours. And if you do that, you get your latitude on Earth. And in this case, they did it within a margin of error of 0.4%. Latitude 49.8, and what is his actual latitude? Slightly off of that, uh, about just over one degree, and it's a margin of error of less than 1%. And it matches the predictions of the globe Earth. Now, as a backup to this experiment, this isn't done. the only one. My no, I want, to back, I, I, want, I want to back it up. 
So this isn't the only I experiment that we can talk about, about, right? But right. This, so, right. So this is You've one experiment that shows still if this is one experiment that shows how the drift of a pendulum correlates exactly to your latitude on Earth. The other one I would like to present is the same experiment done at the South Pole, and I will post the link to that now in the um, in the chat. Okay, two experiments out of the hundreds that I could present that show the drift of a pendulum correlates exactly to your latitude on Earth. You cannot say the drift of a pendulum does not correlate to your latitude oh on Earth God. when I've just shown the experiment showing that it absolutely does. I'm about to post in the chat right now a second experiment to back up oh, the first no, one. Oh, no, I can't Boom, take a second done. one, bro. I'm going to go loony if you go for a second one. And I'm oh, sure no, no, the I'm just, I'm, I'm just, I'm just posting that as evidence to back up my first bit of evidence. So, to finalize my claim for you my evidence oh here my demonstrates without any issue that the what? drift of a swinging pendulum correlates to your latitude on earth how is that the case se montreal if the earth is not rotating my Can god I? even rumpus is not as bad as you bro i, I, okay, I don't so know where to begin question. where to start I, it's, it's like mind-numbing so back to your independent variable you claimed an experiment now all that waffle was for absolutely nothing i put you the question to you. The how, did you, question I've asked. how did you vary and manipulate your variable and how did you eliminate all the other variables the same question you put to somebody else before <sighs> go ahead so sir. you're ignoring the the actual evidence that's fantastic so as i explained what before, evidence the independent... well, you, there was, you showed no evidence whatsoever. i just explained the entire experiment that all follows right, the fight, scientific fight the flag. chill out chill out calm down man You've been talking for a i long just explained time. the entire experiment that follows the scientific method okay it matches no, it the not. predictions of the globe. Yes, it does. The no, independent it did not. variable. How did you the... vary yes, and does. manipulate your the... variable? How well, did you do I'm that? Trying... I, I've said that three times. The independent variable is the position on Earth the experiment is done. The dependent variable is the measured drift of the pendulum. That's ridiculous. I presented two, That's I ridiculous. Presented two this different is experiments. I presented, two... I, I, presented... Oh, I presented two I different experiments. I wanted to ask the question an hour ago. Uh, Fuck. Yeah, okay. Um, I don't it's know who like you are talking to. Please right go ahead. I'm oh, done no. with this guy. He's 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 so, full of. Yeah, go so, go ahead. Hey, hey, so fight the flat earth. Fight the, hang on. So uh, Numpty wants I, that. He wants to I, ask you a question. I presented two. He wants to ask you a question and then you can address it. But, but let, yeah, let me respond to Essie Montreal. Montreal. Wait, wait, just wait a minute. Just let me, let me shut up about I, it. Let me respond to Essie Montreal first. Then he can ask his question. Okay. Right. So Essie Montreal. I have explained to you what the independent variable is. I've explained to you what the dependent variable is. I have presented you two experiments that follow the scientific method and demonstrate that the drift of a pendulum correlates to your latitude on Earth. No, How the do location you on the Earth is not an independent variable. Sorry, yes, sir. Yes, it 100% no, is. only in your I, brain. I don't care if you disagree. I don't care if you disagree. Position can be an independent variable. That's the thing that has changed in the experiment. You're delusional. You're delusional. Because you don't understand science, I'm delusional. Brilliant. Well done. Okay, can I ask right, a question? Okay, bro? so, yep, yeah, now please go yeah, ahead with your so, question as SE Montreal has proved I've done this. You said an hour ago that your, your, uh, your sphere uh, that you uh, have, your spherical model, has three axes of rotation. And now yes. this, and please let me, let, me, let me ask my question. Now, how, does, yeah, I was how, do you into, how do you take into account the other two axes of rotation in your Coriolis effect? It seems to only be one axis of rotation, and it seems to be based. How does. How does the latitude lines relate to those other three acts, other two axes, please? And the latitude lines give a different radius from the center of the Earth. Uh, also, the latitude lines will be um, a different position away from the center of Earth, changing the actual axis that you're measuring it on. Um, the swinging drift of a, the swinging bob of a pendulum will maintain its swing relative to the center of Earth and the distance away from the center of Earth, which matches the three axes of rotation. Oh, wait, so could you explain each axis of rotation and how it's taken into account? X, Y, Z, yes. It seems like you're only taking into account one axis of rotation. And well, you, claim, into you claim account, three. So I would like you to explain. With, each one of them. Well, the Earth rotates in three axes. Doesn't mean that a, 
Wait, again, so the Earth rotates in three axes. That doesn't mean that a pendulum will measure all three axes, only that it will show that the Earth is a sphere by having a different amount of drift depending on the latitude lines, which is a different radius away from the center of Earth. But you said that that is caused by the axis of rotation, and you also claim there's three of them. So how are yes, you... Yes, there is three axes, axes of rotation one? on Earth. That's what you uh, said. Again, you the think. swinging bulb of a pendulum will not mess necessarily measure three axes of rotation. The Earth has three axes of rotation, but because a swinging bulb of, of a pendulum maintains its swing relative to the center of the Earth and distance away from the center of the Earth, it will show the 2D axis of rotation at different latitudes, different radiuses away when you're north or south, showing that the Earth is a sphere because latitude one up here is small, then it gets bigger and bigger and bigger, then smaller and smaller and smaller, matching the predictions of the globe. Uh, and the fact that the sign law created by Foucault takes into account the fact the Earth is spherical and has different tangential velocities at different points on the sphere. You didn't really answer my question, so I, I'm going to I rephrase did, it. just because you didn't rephrase, know. I'm going to rephrase it so you, can, so you can answer it, because maybe it's how I, I, how I asked it. He, no, he doesn't answer what, questions. What is, what I is just the, did. What is the, wait, what is the, okay, I would like you to name each axis of rotation and how X, each of the three axis of rotations contribute individually and combine to give us the effect of the pendulum. Thank you. Okay, I never said that the pendulum registers all three axes, only that the Earth rotates in three axes because it is spherical. So which? So it only registers one of the rotation? It will register the, the distance away from... Uh, the pendulum will register the distance away from the center of Earth, matching, the, the, correlating the latitude on Earth to the drift of the swinging pendulum, which is something that can only happen on a 3D object. Right, and my question is that latitude that you invoked uh that has to do with uh the degrees away from one of the axes of rotation whereas you said there was from the three. center so of how your, are yes. you taking into account the other two variables of those two axes that you invoked as well, well? You, you don't need to because a, you don't need to because a pendulum maintains its swing relative to the center of earth and distance away from the center of earth so you don't need to. But the fact that it maintains its swing and can correlate the drift to the latitude of Earth shows that the Earth can only be spherical. OK, so the question that I have been asking, which still no one has been able to answer, is how does a flat, non-rotating Earth account for the drift of a pendulum correlating to your latitude on Earth? Can anyone answer that? Because I have presented two experiments that follow the scientific method that back up my claim that we're on a rotating spherical object. No, you object. don't. I and, already proved you wrong. You're just not no, smart you, enough. You, you did it prove me wrong. You said something that you don't understand. Again. You're not you smart debunked, enough to get it, bro. Uh, again, understand Essie Montreal, that. you haven't debunked the fact that the drift of a swinging pendulum literally correlates to your latitude on Earth. How You're does delusional, flat, bro. Not, I explained to you uh, uh, in a uh, merry-go-round. Okay, uh, Right. Well, once in a merry-go-round, in a child's merry-go-round, I explained to you, you but you're not smart enough question, to Essie understand Montreal. it. Why do you keep ignoring the question, Essie Montreal? Why do you keep ignoring the question, Essie Montreal? How you're not does smart a enough to understand it, bro. Essie a merry-go-round and a ball. Does... Essie Montreal, just try and answer the question directly. See if you can, all right? Try, if you can, all right? Dude, how don't try to reverse it... this on me. Uh, Is okay. a merry-go-round 2D or 3D? Not... I am Is talking. Try and okay, answer the right, question. All right, all right. Be... Fight the flat earth. Come on. Montreal. Fight the flat earth. Hang on, man. Hang on. I'm speaking, man. Listen, you you're, I'm, I'm you need to control. To listen, listen. Control. You need to control your anger, man. Dang. You're the uh, only one that's okay, doing so that I'm at this moment. The For the last list, I'm wait, 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 am I speaking? Yes, I am. Yeah, dude, For the I last 30 minutes, now, dude, you have been nothing but just getting mad and then monologuing for almost 10 minutes. So try to chill out a little bit. All right? Control yourself. Okay, cool. So uh, if any, right, Essie Montreal, simple question. Just answer the simple question. How does a flat, non-rotating Earth account for the drift of a swinging pendulum correlated to the latitude on Earth? I, I told you 10 times already. It does not. It's only in your brain. It does I, not. I presented two experiments. Does. Why are you not letting me finish my sentence, bro? Are you afraid? You ignored my question. You ignored my question. 
No, I didn't. I directly answered it by telling no, you. When it doesn't. You, you, is said, you said it doesn't. No, 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 no. Hold on. You hold are on. assuming is, that the this, earth this is, is not spinning. a question. Dude, can you let Eki say like three Spain, words? Shut up. No one's talking to you. No, you shut up. Please. You Shut the fuck up, like I'm talking. Kind of all right, minutes. all right, we're going to have to call this it because like, this is getting ridiculous, on, man. My check, check this in the house shines shit off for a second. Yeah, to be fair, uh, Montreal, Dude, he did me. ask. Um, He asked how the pendulum accounted, how the pendulum basically uh, deviated on a flat earth was basically his question. Right, and I told him it does not which part of that do you not get? Bro, you evidence that it, it does. does not so, deviate so, uh, on uh, a right, flat okay, earth. Um, to answer that, that? Well, that's so is enough? the video just fake or what? He will not let me but finish in, in the reality, sentence, man. It will not right, happen. Right, in, in reality, the drift of a swinging pendulum directly correlates to your latitude and earth. This isn't questionable. This is a thing that happens and can be demonstrated yeah, by experimentation. It, you know, it's a real I, thing that happens. We've right? heard that, buddy. So, we've SE Montreal, that. Thank you. Once, uh, once again, thank you. Once That's again, what's in dispute. Montreal, uh, once, Montreal. Once again, SE Montreal, right, how does the swinging, the, the drift of a swinging pendulum correlate to your latitude on earth if the earth is flat and non-rotating? Because it happens. Once again, fight the flat earth, take the wax out of your ears. It does not. Yep. Okay, the Montreal. Earth just how about something that happens? How about you try it? I'm going to have to mute you, Montreal, I think. SDR, I don't, SDR. I don't no, we don't need to mute him. He was he is not talking really over. Can I say something huh? really Pay attention. He's, he's, how about... Earth is a globe right now. Do you not get that? How do you not get that? All that dumb that you don't understand that? Or what? Can I can I get a response to that, Montreal? What's what's your question, dude? Ignoring my question. What's your question? You are basically time. agreeing with him that he that the Earth is a globe at this if, point. With no, your responses, I'm not agreeing with him that the Earth is a globe. I never no. did, and I never will. He he asked asked you, can I, can I try to help him understand? Don? Hold on, hold on, hold on. He asked you how does a pendulum oh, sorry, deviate yeah. on a flat Earth, and you said it does not. And they're providing exactly. The which is why is that hard for you to understand? Which part did you, you not? You get? really don't think that a pendulum could deviate if the hold Earth on. was like? You really hold think on, that the Earth? Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Hold on. Can, can I? Can, okay. No, let, no. Let, hold let, on. Let, shut. Shut up. All you shut the. You you're all yelling and screaming. This is the first time I have walked yeah, into this. So just chill the chill out, everybody. Everybody needs to back on. Oh my gosh! Okay, come on, guys. This is this is, this is yeah. the, okay. Okay, Jesus. done, done. Okay, it's done. Montreal. Okay, thank Montreal you. And, and thank you. So, how like can you explain it to me? I don't, I don't, I don't really understand. Oh my Dude, are god! Are you serious? You're asking me how a freaking pendulum swings on a flat Earth? Are you freaking serious, bro? No. no what I'm asking you is, is do you right. honestly no. believe that a a uh, pendulum will not deviate on a flat earth that's what i'm asking you a pendulum will deviate all over the place when you no, swing it, it. it what's your earth, freaking it, question bro well that was what he was asking you originally is uh, will a pendulum deviate on a flat earth and you said it, it will answer. not that was your answer you said it will not that was if your earth, answer if the earth is stationary yeah, in the way wrong. that he's thinking he he said right. a specific deviation that's what he meant it does so let me clarify it is a fact. What you, okay, what specific deviation? We're almost through this, Ladder. Thank you. We're almost through this. What specific deviation are you talking about? None. Me. He's the one talking about it, bro. Are you hard of hearing? Do you, you just have comprehension it. issues, uh, Hammer? Yeah, apparently I do. So, so try it with me one more time here because you just said he's talking about a specific deviation. I don't give a flying fuck what kind of deviation he's talking about. Let me be clear, okay? On the Earth, a pendulum does not deviate the way they think it does. They think it deviates because the Earth is spinning. Do you understand that? That is what I'm contesting. What you mean? What you mean? What you mean by that is, or excuse me, what I'm interpreting from that is what you mean is they they think the cause of the deviation is incorrect right or you believe the cause of the deviation is incorrect not that it will not deviate the same way that they're showing they, us that it deviates they is that don't correct have any proof of deviation yes exactly that they don't have any proof i've just shown an experiment Steve, really really 
Come that on. Video, just yeah. it right there. If you got any, you got any proof of deviation, I'd like to see it. The video. Are you yeah, guys I, serious? I just... Okay, right. Can I can I talk, please? Uh, right. So I have literally no, shown. No, hold on. Proof no, because I was that... like so close. I was so close, and I apologize. You. Oh, okay. Right. Really. Uh, like I'm so disappointed I, I, in you guys. This, this, really this is what I'm confused about. Like I really am confused because I have just shown literal proof that the drift of a swinging pendulum correlates directly to your latitude on Earth. No, and then I backed you it up have with another not. experiment. Like, no, you, you, you have just not. Over, talk to me, right. I literally just did. I literally no, just No, you just showed a video and you said a few prediction. words. That's it. Yeah. And then then I presented another experiment done at the South Pole, also matching the predictions of the drift of a swinging pendulum. All right. So it does happen. It's a fact. It the experiment is done all of the time. So just try and answer the simple question, Esty Montreal. Why does a pendulum drift according to your latitude? If the Earth is flat and not rotating, because it does. Don't say it doesn't, because it does. Okay, now try to listen. Don't interrupt me. Try to listen. You say you have videos, right? Now I'm gonna counterclaim your videos. I have videos too. Okay. You know, oh, wow. eyes wide shut. She made a whole bunch of videos. She has hours of pendulums showing that they persist. They have magnets on them. And then okay? she showed so that that's they my persist. rebuttal that's to you. And that's why she stopped that showing absolute... Why are you interrupting me? Okay, so let, 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 me, res let me respond to that. I'm not finished. Um, I'm you... not finished. The, the... You have your well, videos. Want... I have my videos. Now where do we go from here? Yeah, well, why, we can talk about right, your okay, videos. Okay, so let, let me respond to that. Let me respond to that quickly. Um, the video that I showed has no magnets at all. The experiment at the South Pole that I also demonstrated has no magnets at all. With or without magnets, the drift of a swinging pendulum correlates directly to your latitude on earth you need to explain that if you can't you lose this no. argument and then no, let me, you let me have respond. to prove that let, let no it doesn't to work like that just showing me a video and you think you win SC. an argument doesn't work my friend SC. doesn't work showing that you way evidence. Really quick, not get, evidence you have just a video and words incorrect so, uh, evidence the of an, uh, literally the recording and explanation of a scientific experiment according to you is an evidence no, you did not do a scientific experiment, and I proved to you because uh, you did not vary physicists. your the variable. And I also uh, hold on, uh, please uh, do not no, interrupt hold on, hold on, me. No, Shut your no, mouth, I, let I, me finish. Shut your I, mouth, I, let me finish. Not, Shut your I, mouth, I, let me I'm finish. Shut your mouth. Shut your mouth. Guys, we are getting a little heated in here again. Just respond real quick. You can't just lie. No, I'm not gonna leave. Cut me off again. He's been Okay, so I'm gonna mute everyone. If everybody can. Oh, order in the room, this. man. Thank you. Please. And we get a One moderator. Mic. One mic, guys. No, let me finish, finish what I'm saying. You are wrong. Let SC, let, SC, FT, let SC finish and then you go. He was in the middle of something, okay, let him finish, fine. and then back and forth. Thank you. Thank you for and being polite. Can, can I respond I once? No, shut done. your mouth, be ball. Later. No. Later. Yeah, you don't, yeah, you don't want to hear what Maybe we can pe get people in the comments and they can say, I want to go next. And then uh, mods can come in and be like, okay, this is the next question. Let's do that. But for right now, let's SE and FTFE. Go. Thank you. This is where it all started. This is what they do. They try to change the subject. It started off with the Coriolis. There is nothing that you can say or do that's going to change the fact that the Coriolis is a visual effect. When you throw that ball, that ball does not deviate. It goes straight line. It only appears to curve from the rotating reference frame. There's nothing that you can say or do, fight the flat earth, that's going to change that. Period. Thank you. So um, all the experiments that I have demonstrated disagree with you. Uh, and I don't care how much you say it's not. Position can be an IV. That is the thing that is manipulated. The, the, if you want to follow the scientific method in the flat earth way that they think that it ends at the high school scientific method, the independent variable is the position on earth. That is the thing that you change. The dependent variable is the measured drift of the pendulum. That is what the scientific method says that you have to have an experiment, IV and DV. Those things 